Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I am here with day 26 of 30 Days of Sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life. And it is series 14 and we have exclusive sketches all month long and this one is by Lori Roach Ross. And it would have been a good one for the St. Patrick's Day if we were following the sketch to a T. Um, but I am using it to document some birthday pictures and instead of three pictures I'm going to do two and a cut apart and I am going to use the 49 and Market Ocean um, collection and I've got the um, punch outs and some six by eight papers. I have the frame set and the acetate pieces. I pulled a piece of paper already from the collection and I have some scraps. So I've got my papers, my embellishments, my pictures with this cut apart, which is going to be my title and this awesome sketch. So let's see how this goes. So I um, love how this turned out. Now, I don't typically think flowers when I think about my brother-in-law necessarily. I mean, he's like a good old boy, literally fisherman, you know, drives a hard, <laughs> rides on a Harley. So like florals aren't necessarily what I go to <laughs> when I think of him. But this collection was perfect because when I found this cut apart to be the perfect thing for a title, because he is mm. certainly one of a kind, plus he fishes, I felt like it would brought it all together. Um, and so I knew it would go, I think it came from like a die cuts with a view, um, paper pad, but it was just in my, um, pocket card pocket, like little, um, container. So the blue I thought went really well with the ocean, um, 49 and market, and it had this huge floral, which could kind of represent where the, um, clover is in the sketch. So honestly, I'm thrilled with how this turned out. And I used... I don't want to say quite a bit because like I'm pretty hoardy when it comes to my 49 to market especially but I did pull out a bunch of like some of the butterflies and then these little buttons I'm going to start pulling out from that um, punch out card because I wanted to represent where she has all of those cute little um, the clovers like in that bottom triangle at the bottom right corner I wanted to have something to represent that and so I started doing the butterflies and then decided I wanted to add something so I put those little buttons in there and they're not really in your face because everything is pretty much blue except some of the um, greenery in that top uh, left corner but um, I felt like um, the butterflies and the buttons and then I'm going to add a few leaves down there and then I'm going to bring in a little bit of mixed media or at least some stickles and glitter glue so um, to add to like the little oomph that's down there. So I do pull out some of the acetate pieces and I add one or two up here in the top corner and then I add like a couple um, with the leaves that are going to go in the bottom portion just to kind of be a little filler. And then I just add um, a bunch of like the buttons and the butterflies just in that kind of triangular L shape at the bottom. And I love how this layout turned out. So I got my frames attached to my pictures and the cut apart by turning them over, getting them straightened and using some double sided tape to keep them secure to the frame in the corner. And then just use my um, ATG gun to like pretty much tape the picture down and then I peel off the little double-sided tape that's in the corner so it helps secure everything and like I said I love how this turned out those frames are really really cute um and they worked perfectly for what I needed and I have quite a few of them left I don't think I've ever bought the frames if I've seen them before with 49 and market and this is the only collection I have them with but I really like them um so, but, um, this layout took me 29 minutes and that included punching all those little bits and pieces out, um, taping the frames to, I mean, like from start to finish, I, it took me 29 minutes and I love how it turned out. It's pretty simplistic in ways, but also, you know, it's full of, um, lots of different things. But once I get all the pieces down on here, I remember there is a little group of banners up at the top. 
And instead of doing a fishtail, I just tore the paper and I kind of tore it. One of them is kind of uh, looks a little fishtaily, but the other two, they're just kind of torn. And I, they're still blue or like a very pale blue and one's more of a white. And so I just kind of stagger them and have them overlap a little bit. And then I'm going to add a little butterfly on top of them. So it just gives you a little something up there. Plus I'll put some of the um, stickles and um, gl glitter glue up there. So I pull out, this is stickles right here and it's like a blue. It doesn't actually have a name on it, like a color which is kind of surprising, but it might be because this is literally from 2018. Like stickles have a long shelf life, guys. <laughs> and then the other one that I'm using right there is Recollections brand Frost. And they have a pretty good shelf life too. I'm not sure how old they are, but I've had them for quite a while. And um, they're obviously working just fine. So here is the sketch again from Lori Roach Ross. And I'm going to show you the close-up. I got to be careful not to put my thumb in the um, little dots that I made. I really do love this. I did give them the little butterfly trails and then just did some random um, dots in different sizes with both the two colors of glitter glue. I am so thrilled with this. I didn't do a big title like it calls for on the sketch, but that one of a kind, like I said, is pretty perfect for him. Uh, he is definitely unique. Don't tell him I said that. <laughs> So I hope you'll go check everybody else out who is hopping along with 30 Days of Sketches. I'd love it if you'd give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you all have a great day. I hope you have a, get a chance today to do something you love with someone you love. And happy scrapping!